time. Here's a question for you. If someone, you know, some random person just happens to have a huge chunk of chocolate stuck on their front two teeth, should you tell her? What a... Yes, yes Matt. Uh, well, to help us get through these etiquette questions and others like them, we have lifestyle and etiquette expert Elaine Swan here. She's going to help us all. Hi, Elaine. Hi there. Can you just answer that one? Yeah, but you, you should tell the person, but not wait until the end of the meal. Tell them when you see it happening. Hell's yes. bells, Matt Lauer. Yes. Okay, so we, we have a series of questions which the audience has already weighed in on. And the mm -hmm. first one is... Okay, so the first one is, all right, you are introduced to your new boss and their fly is undone. Do you say something, yes or no? Yeah. We actually pulled... Oh, split decision. We pulled the Ooh. audience. Let's see how they came out on this. Let's see. 40s. Oh, they're split. But oh. the majority says no, you don't tell the boss. Oh, they say no. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so the answer you? is yes with conditions, okay? Yes. So yes with conditions. And the condition is number one, if it's if it's this, you know, same gender boss, yeah. then you want to tell someone else. So if you're female, tell your male colleague to tell your boss okay. that their fly is undone. So you don't say to your male colleague if you're a woman, hey, yo. Uh, no, because then you might end up in the HR department, so you don't want to do that. <laughs> you have a good defense. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so you do want to let them know. And if you can't, if, if it's the same sex, then kind of pull them off to the side and do it discreetly so okay. you don't embarrass the individual. Okay, All That's right. the barn doors, barn doors open. Yeah. Right? What do they say? Zip okay. it up. <laughs> Number two is a child pushes a toddler. On a playground, okay, yes. Yeah. So you you see a child push a toddler on the playground, okay? Do you intervene, yes or no? Yes. yes. Ah. I think so. Let's see what okay, you let's said. See let's see what the percentages are. Yes, 59%. Ah, say yes. so, okay, so there's some crazy people out there. Yeah. And people are mama bears over their kids. So it depends. It really depends on, really, you shouldn't be dealing with other people's kids. The best thing to do is to find the parent or the guardian Caregiver, of both right. of the individuals and say, hey, I witnessed this happen. Because when someone sees you going to their child to say something, they may not take it too lightly. That's so, true. Yeah, you don't want to start anything crazy. Try to find a care, but what if you can't find a caregiver? Then yes, yeah, be the adult and try to be fair, you know, so yeah. don't you know, chastise the one that did the pushing, but try to be fair. Okay. I see this kind of thing on the New York City playgrounds ah, all okay. the time. So number three. Number three, right. Okay. Do you take your cell phone to the dinner table, yes or no? I do. Oh, oh let's see. So what's the answer? Yes. Okay, they're with yes! me. Yes, I love this audience. <laughs> They do no. it, but should they do so it? So you think because I'm an etiquette expert, the answer is no, but it is yes. Yes, you can take your cell phone to the dinner table. However, nothing goes on the table except for food. And then in addition to that, if you do use your phone, it has to do with the conversation at hand. So for example, if you're looking up movie times or stock mm -hmm. quotes or something, talk about whatever's on the phone and then put it away. It's so annoying if you have a dinner with like three other people and then you start to talk and they all look down when you finally get your chance to talk. It's like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> trouble of showing up here. <laughs> exactly. All right, exactly. And, the, and the last one here. Okay, so, oh, I love this one. Okay, okay. If you catch up with your old college friend and see she's pregnant, is it okay to touch her stomach? Yes or no? No. Touching her belly? No, not, not unless she says yes. Yes! It's okay. What happened to my friends? <laughs> I know, you know, people like, what, the old college friend, really, you should just ask first. That's the answer, is really just ask first before you touch anybody's belly. I say, even if you ask, then it puts the person in the position of having to reject you. Just, just keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Unless it's like a sister of yours or yeah. somebody you don't have to ask because you know she won't mind. Don't touch your belly. When I was pregnant, I was really like, I, I don't want you figuring out how much flab is covering <laughs> that baby and how much is just baby. Like, yeah. I, only my husband needs to touch that. Yeah, yeah. Touching is kind of <laughs> awkward, kind of weird. So. And don't make any comments about my pregnant body either. Just say you look great. That's all I have to say. You look great. Don't say, oh, you must be having twins. Okay. That's <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> oh, that's a whole Don't say what topic. a beer belly you must have. <laughs> These things were actually said to me. Very nice to see you. Thank Very you for nice being here. You. Thank you for helping us. Sending you over to Studio 1A to go see Matt now. We'll be right back.